I'm Clarence and today we will be reviewing Butterfly's newest rubber, the Dignix O9C. So today we'll be trying it out on both the forehand as well as the backhand and we'll let you know how it goes. Let's go! For the first impressions of the Dignix O9C, I feel that it's very comfortable in terms of control and power as well as speed even with its stiffer sponge and tackier surface while also giving a nice crisp sound when striking the ball. When playing with forehand top spin, the rubber produces a very good arc and I am able to generate more spin while maintaining a fast speed for my shots which reduces the frequency of errors and the ball going under net. Top spin to top spin is extremely comfortable as the harder sponge gives the rubber more power even when further away from the table and the higher throw angle provides more safety during the rallies. When executing the third ball attack, with the tacky surface of the rubber, I am able to lift the ball up with relative ease. Also, the spin and higher arc being generated makes it harder for the opponents to adjust and to block the shots. Counter top spin is where this rubber really shines as I am able to counter my opponent's attack with minimal effort as the rubber holds the ball very well and has a fast catapult when it is released regardless of the spin and angle of the incoming shot. When receiving on the forehand, I am more confident to keep my returns short and more easily due to the tacky surface and the control it gives allows me more opportunities to be proactive and attack first. When using the O9C on the backhand, it does feel a little stiff and not as fast as compared to other Dignix rubbers. However, it compensates by giving a nice throw angle and more spin as well as maintaining good control. For backhand top spin, I am able to generate good power and strong spin which makes it easy and very secure to execute backhand strokes continuously. For the backhand top spin to top spin, never in my life I've used a rubber that is so comfortable to play far away from the table. It has a lot of safety and a very high throw angle. Even though I might not be in a good position, I am still able to get the ball back onto the table with minimal effort. Therefore I feel that for backhand top spin to top spin, it has a very very strong grip and generates a lot of spin which makes it very comfortable for the overall experience. Similar to the forehand, when doing counter top spin on the backhand, I am able to neutralize the incoming spin and counter at my own pace while also generating good speed and power. Blocking may feel relatively slow and not as easy, especially when flat hitting due to the harder sponge of the rubber. So you might have to generate more spin and hand movement by yourself in order to get the ball across the table. Backhand flicks actually felt really easy to execute, even when dealing with a serve with strong spin, as I am able to grip the ball very well while giving it a good arc and power, and it definitely helps with reducing error when receiving. What do you think of the Dignix O9C? Overall, I feel that this is a very all-rounded rubber and most people prefer it on the forehand due to its spin and speed 
but I think it can excel equally on the backhand. Due to its control and grip, I think I'm able to you know, brush very well. So I think that it's suitable for backhand as well. We have come to the end of our review. We hope that we have managed to give you a better understanding of the Butterfly DMX Phone IC. If you'd like to see more of such reviews, do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and see you again.